Now, in Tamaguna, the primary, the first mistake we make is unclear communication. We find it difficult to be direct. When we want to say no, we say yes. When we want to say yes, we say no. So there we create confusion. There is unclear communication when the mind is in Tamaguna. So in relationships, directness gives a lot of benefit. But when we're speaking about being direct, we also need the capacity, the mental strength to receive direct answer from others as well. Are we willing to receive no as an answer without taking it personally? Then we can also say no without any intention to hurt other people, but only to keep healthy boundaries. So in Tamaguna, there is also the mood of regret and revenge. So this is not beneficial for any of our relationships. If you have this pattern with your parents or your friends or your colleagues, please keep in mind that the same pattern is definite to continue also with your partnership or marriage relationships. Because these are viruses that is planted in our thought process, which we need to take it out before we enter into new relationships. Draining unhealthy dealings in relationships is another trait of Tamaguna. So we stay in situations which we are uncomfortable, we drain our energies, we try to struggle unnecessarily and we keep on maybe lying in a relationship, we don't, we're not happy but we say we are and so on. Or maybe we are given with everything and we complain. So these are all traits of Tamaguna. So we need to be very, very careful and identifying them and uprooting these because if we deny it, it's not going to get solved. So in Rajaguna, primarily there is lack of faith and there is also lack of trust in others. There is always a sense of doubt. The primary reason for doubt is because we don't trust ourselves. We don't trust Krishna. We don't trust in our higher self. Then we have lack of gratitude. Lack of gratitude really ruins relationships. Even if you have all the riches of the world, all pleasures, exactly the perfect looking partner. If we do not have gratitude, we cannot be happy even for a single moment. Most relationships fail because there is lack of gratitude in that relationship. 